Welcome to another video. If you're wondering why I've got sunglasses on, it's because it's bloody bright out here. And um, because my ADHD, I've got um, hypersensitivity, which means my eyes let too much light in and it's really, so sometimes I have to wear sunglasses when it's really, really bright. So um, yeah, anyway, I'm rambling. Um, today's video, um, I will be, I don't know if it's gonna be a great video. It's, I don't even know if this is worth videoing, but uh. <laughs> um, today's video, my instrument cluster here, the the lights on the in instrument cluster do not work. Uh, if you've been watching my other videos, um, I think I've said that before. But when I was fitting the stereo, I um, found a wire that I thought was the memory, but it's not. But I think I might show that in another video as well. I found a wire that only goes live when I turn my headlights on. So I've left that wire, I'm not using it. And what that tells me is if I buy some LEDs, put them into the instrument cluster, and wire that wire up to them, whenever I switch my headlights on, the LED should light up. You see where I'm going with this? And I'll have instrument cluster lights. So that's the plan. So right now I'm gonna um, remove the steering wheel, remove the instrument cluster, take it indoors and see if I can make these LEDs sit in the cluster and see where I can go with it. Now we'll remove this panel and unplug the switches. Right, now to undo that screw and that screw. Now I have to squeeze my arm around here and unclip the speedo cable. Pop this forward a bit to do it. Okay, pull this down forward and pull it out. Now, what is stopping it? There we go. Pull it out and nice undo this clip here. There we go. This should come out. Okay, right. Now, I want to retrofit, I don't know why they're not working, but they're just not. So I'm going to retrofit some LEDs, one here, one here, and then have them wired into the wire that's behind the stereo. So first things first, just go indoors and um, see how I can make these LEDs stay in, not these ones, the other ones I've got. Okay, these are the LEDs I've got, these little things here, like that, with a positive and negative wire on, simple as that. So, um, if I can... It doesn't really fit. That's the hole. There's no, there's no way they can click in. Although I've got that center, I've got that stuck now. Ah, get out! <laughs> get out! So what I'm thinking about doing is, I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna put it in there. Let that shoulder rest on there, and I'm just gonna tape this across there down, and then join these two wires together, positive and negative. And once that's taped down, that should work. Fingers crossed, it should work. It's um, a bit of bodge engineering, but I would like to be able to see my speedo at night, so here we go. Okay, there we have it. The LEDs are just sat just inside the hole um, and taped down and taped down to there, so that's, they ain't going nowhere. Now, twist these wires together. So you got two red, reds together and the blacks together. Okay, just like that. And then we use, well, I'm gonna use these connectors to put these on and then um, some wire to make it longer so I can find where I'm gonna plug it in. And there we have it. That's one connector into that and the black into that. Yes, I've used red on the black as well because I've only got red wire, so deal with it. <laughs> right, now to try and find now, well, now to wire this the positive into the um, the that wire that I found that goes to, which comes on with the headlights, and then to find an earth point for this side, I wouldn't mind. I'm actually going to use spade terminals to join these to the car. That way, if I ever want to remove the dashboard in the future, I just I can just unplug it. And there we go. I neatened it. Well, if you can call it neat, but um, I take down the wires, put it through there, put it through this little metal gap here, so the wires come out of one side here. So they're all nicely tucked out of the way. So what I've done now is I've tapped the um, uh, negative into the negative 
on the stereo and now down here is the wire that seems to go live every time I put the headlights on so that is going to be the positive okay right let's get this put back together I'm not going to test them until I've got it back together and then we'll test it and that's probably the bad way to do it but for a video effect it gives us a finale doesn't it see if it worked or not <laughs> right finally got the clocks in as you can see I had a bit of a fight trying to get the speedo cable to finally click in but um yeah lost a bit of skin on my hand but yeah it's part of being a mechanic I suppose right now let's get this surround in plug these switches back in steering wheel back on and um we'll see if it worked right what started off as a simple thing has now turned into my indicator is not working properly which is doing my nutting this is a new module because it did this before this is a brand new module all i've done is since i've plugged this brand new module in all i've done is unplug it but hazards come on but if i try and put indicators on no clicking it just comes on stays there up in No indicators. Oh, this is so annoying. <sighs> what is wrong with this thing? It's brand new. It's brand new. It's brand new. How can it possibly not be working now? Man, this is so annoying. All I wanted to do was put some headlight, was put some bulbs in my dash, and now my indicators don't work. For no good reason. All because of this bloody module that I bought that was working fine. Don't worry, that's just a, a thing for the bulb. <sighs> Take this apart and have a look. Okay, well, there's no point me um, putting the steering wheel back on if I've got to take this all back off to put in a new indicator switch for the third time in this vehicle. Um, so let's. Um, I'm gonna have to put a blanket over my head or something to see if I can make it look like darkness in here and have the headlight switch on. So let's test out, see if I've got instrument cluster lights or not. Yeah. Okay, kind of dark in here. Moment of truth. Hey, check it out. Lights on. Hey, lights off. Ooh. There we have it. I now have instrument cluster lights, but no bloody indicators. Oh, typical. Right, now I'm going to go indoors and order one of them. Okay, I'm kind of wandering around at the minute because I'm... I seem to have lost, I have no idea what I've done. How have I done this? I, I just don't know how I've done it. I've lost the, the metal bar that goes into the bottom of this, that goes into the hole in the ground, so I can shut my gates. Um, how the hell have I possibly lost that? Where would I put it? Ah, <laughs> oh, it's hard work. It's hard work having ADHD sometimes. Oh. oh, anyway, that's the end of today's video. I have no idea where that's gone or what or why I even took it out. Um, yeah, anyway. Okay, I found it. Um, On, on top of the gate whoops thanks for watching today's video um i wasn't expecting to lose my indicators today <laughs> just by i ordered that part of amazon right it was a few months ago now um oh, i'm so do you know when you oh, I, mean, I mean two minds i'm happy that i've got instrument cluster lights now but i'm also like pissed off because um just just unplugging the switch broke it how how is it possible a brand new switch all i've done was unplug it and now my indicators don't work so i'm gonna go indoors and spend more money on an indicator switch 
Great. Uh, cheers for watching, peeps. Um, yeah, it was kind of uh, anti-climax at the end because of that. Am I blurred? There we go. Yeah, it was a bit of an anti-climax at the end because of that, but um, I've got instrument cluster lights.